The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me. And it doesn't matter where me is as long as you and me are together at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So, what do we have here? Eh, I guess I can turn that up a little bit, can I? Um... So we've got a market, I think, uh, that we can look at uh, as a, uh, a semi-blow-off top uh, come from Friday. And now we're going to be going into the uh, Valley of the Shadows of Death. As we have a week in which I suspect uh, most of the dice throws will end up being snake eyes. Of course, we've got uh, earnings starting tomorrow, uh, more earnings and the Fed on Wednesday, uh, more econ news uh, with housing on Thursday, and more broad economic news on Friday, all of which I suspect, uh, at least at the moment, has some rather rosy outcomes priced in. Uh, although they're lower than they had been, they're much higher than uh, I think they will come in. So I'm fairly bearish through this week. Um, I suspect we're going to see um, probably a little bit of a sell-off into the Fed. And uh, probably, if you're lucky, the mark of the stocks go sideways on earnings. Um, if you're not so lucky, then you have a snag it kind of thing. Uh, you and me. Yeah, I like the Dave Matthews band. I can't, is that one of the ones in seven, eight time? Yeah. Can't remember right now. Anyway, uh, you can reach me at 877-927-6648. You can always put a message in the den for me. And what else do we have here? That's kind of the beginning of it. Um, what's good? We just have a little ditty for history. So why don't we do that and then we'll get into... Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. A little bit of history, and that is on this day in 2008. Uh, oh, well, I plugged this one in the wrong one. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be about XM Satellite and Cirrus. I must have done something wrong here. Eh, anyway, we'll forget about that at the moment. Um, and just point the camera at me. But anyway, uh, Cirrus and XM Satellites this day in 2008 um, agreed to a merger, and that actually happened within that year. Uh, a lot of people were thinking, well, that's uh, kind of too much power in one position. But it just uh, the Internet was uh, making its uh, move on, and eh, Cirrus XM kind of just hangs on like a loose tooth today uh, on uh, on that. Not much reason to probably watch it or listen to it. A lot easier. And I guess if you're in the car, makes a lot of sense, or maybe on a boat. I know that they make some money with weather for uh, aviation. Maybe they make uh, the same thing for uh, marine stuff. i just not familiar with it. But, uh, well, that's about it. 14 years later. 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, I had a question that uh, I said that I would answer on a couple things. Um, we talked about earnings continuing this week. Uh, the other question was uh, a question from one of my subscribers uh, about a uh, article in my uh, Tech Insider this morning, and he was asking about other quantum algorithms that are going to make uh, other big things. I was just talking about quantum computing, uh, and uh, I think I've got it. There it is. Um, there's another algorithm. I, I was talking about the ones that break uh, crypto uh, cryptography. 
Uh, but there's another big algorithm uh, for uh, quantum computers that's going to be an absolutely huge market. And the idea is that uh, if you're doing searches, it's very nice if there are everything's in order and uh, yeah, it kind of reminded me of the old Bibles that had the little thumb things. I'm showing it on the screen now. Uh, they had the little thumb indexes, so you could instantly go to places in it. Sometimes you'd find these in dictionaries. Um, but uh, the idea is, uh, what if you have something that isn't indexed like that, and you're searching in a, via a computer for it? Uh, you have to literally search through everything, and of course, Probably half the time you're going to find it in the first half and the half the time the second half. And that's just called a big sequential scan of data. And, you know, databases are set up for that. Um, but you, on average, you're going to have to at least uh, scan half of it. Uh, with quantum computing, there is an uh, algorithm called Grover's algorithm. And this is going to be a huge part of going forward all the cloud systems. And instead of doing half of it, let's say you have 10 billion records, you're going to have to, on average, search 5 billion of them uh, to find uh, what you want if you don't have it, you don't know where it's at already. You haven't already pre indexed the data. Um, this would be a square root of that. So whatever the screw, uh, square root of is of, uh, let's say you had 144 records, uh, you'd only have to search through 12 of them. So uh, why these things are not instantly going to make a, uh, a huge uh, change, uh, just to let you know, besides some of the other algorithms out there that are really being pushed, and you know we're talking about within a couple of years seeing this stuff make it to market. At least that's what I was writing about this morning, one company. Um, just know that there's going to be a huge, huge business in quantum computing going forward. Uh, to, 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 okay. Uh, eh, those are some good things. I wanted to uh, get into, i got about a minute left here. I wanted to get into some charts that I was looking at. As I said, I'm fairly bearish out here. So I'm looking at... Um, many stocks that are setting up a potential double repo pattern. I think that we could at least go back and retest 37.50 on the S&P cash. If we break that, probably down to 3,600. Um, and um, what I'm looking at right now are a lot of these stocks that went straight up off the lows. And generally, instead of uh, uh, some of the other indicators that people talk about, I love the Joe DiNapoli version of it, which is how many days above a 3x3 three three displaced moving average uh, do you have? And we've got kind of the nice setup out here. In a bull market, you'll see those go from 10 to 15 days. Uh, on just an average bull market, on a hyper bull market, you may get 20 days straight up, and then you generally have the correction. Uh, we're going to go through some of these charts that have just gone straight up and look at them pull back. Uh, as we speak, uh, S&P off five, Nasdaq off 75, uh, Dow's up 16, crude oil up a buck seven. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of least resistance is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's ultimate trading newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Anyway, uh, we're talking about the double repo pattern and the setups out here. Um, they haven't confirmed yet, but I did want to start looking at some of these, especially uh, it's great when we can do this both on the air so we can watch these setups start to develop. Uh, analog devices is one of the ones that I was looking at. It's really closed above the 3x3 three three since it gapped higher back on the 7th of July. Uh, so what is that? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you're looking for, in a bear market, probably 10 to 15. In a bull market, something like 15 to 20 uh, for these to top out. And, of course, then you use a 3x3 three three displaced moving average, which is nothing more than three days uh, average pushed out three days into the future and that's why we have a trend line actually if you're watching the charts out here that goes out sideways so generally what you're looking for is one dip below a couple of days above and then the next move down back below starts generally um, either a total failure or probably something like a 50 percent retracement um, stocks that kind of go back and forth on the way up with a little bit of give and take, have a little bit more to say. So we've got a lot of those kind of stocks out here. Um, even Apple has been able to do it uh, since uh, the 5th. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And, of course, they have earnings coming up. Um, generally, you don't get the double repo patterns. They just dip back below. I'm not expecting a uh, great deal from Apple and after earnings probably at least looking at options. Most of uh, the option market makers are looking at 145 to 147.50 in my opinion. So we can look at that. Uh, let's see what else we have out here on my list. Uh, I thought there was someone. Um, BBY Best Buy has kind of come off the bottom. It's going to close underneath the 3x3 three three today. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
you're going to get closed below. And generally what you want is a couple days down, maybe back down to 72.50, then a move back above it for a day on no volume, and then maybe two days, and then the next move down. Uh, on this one, um, just looking at the market uh, around here uh, for Best Buy, uh, it's pretty quiet in the stores. Um, some of the stuff's missing. Some of it's uh, just uh, heavily discounted online, so people aren't going back in there. But I think that there's a good opportunity for this to go back and retest that 64.29 before we get into the fall season for uh, Christmas, which it'll probably it'll do okay, I would imagine. It, uh, but a lot of that has to do on the supply chain. Um, most people don't know that uh, bowling alley companies. Uh, were the biggest thing in 1950, I want to say 58, 59, 61, it was the late 50s. Uh, these things uh, make Bitcoin going to $60,000 look cheap. Uh, everybody believed that everybody was going to go bowling every single night and be in leagues and everything else. And uh, what is it? All, there were two or three big bowling alley companies back in the day. And of course, uh, the bowling alleys were popping up left and right. Um, these things were kind of the chip companies of the late 50s. Um, anyway, um, probably not the same Brunswick that you know from those days, but uh, a very nice move on this one. It closed back higher on the 5th. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 out here, and a little bit of downside. And again, what you want these things to do is kind of come back in, pop back up, and then generally as they cross back down below the line, you're going to see real acceleration. And on this one, support probably comes in around 71 bucks. Uh, let's take a look at Beam Therapeutics, I think is the name of this company. Now, this one's already starting to kind of set up. Uh, this one goes back to also the 5th of February, or excuse me, 5th of June. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Going to get a close down here. So you can get a couple of days, maybe a little bit of a pop uh, over the next couple of days. Um, now, if they just start failing here, normally you just get like a 382 retracement off the top. And if we put that up real quick, that'd be 54.17. Is that right? Yeah, 54.17. So when we're looking at this kind of move off the lows and this ABC all the way to the highs, uh, the question is, do these set up? And it, like I said, you could just keep this price for a couple of days, two, three days, close once above it or twice above it, and then the next move down below is generally a pullback to at least a 50% retracement. On this one, you could get back down to 41.42. Okay. And again, you want that, you, you, this is not a prediction. It is a setup, and you need the confirmation with that uh, uh, close. Uh, below the, that line, but you need a pushback above it that fails and then comes back in. But I think we've got so many of these stocks setting up that way uh, that it looks uh, likely. Um, kind of in the same vein out here, we've had what looks like a dead cat bounce in Beacon Roofing uh, with a three-quarter percent interest rate hike on Wednesday. My guess is that uh, this is probably uh, had its day in the sun. Um, I would look for a retrace back to 54.71. That's the June 22nd low on that one. Um, BJ Wholesale Club. Um, they're actually starting to finally make a push around here. Um, really didn't. We've got uh, Costco and and Sam's Club around here. Um, I just go to Sam's Club because it's on this side of the highway and saves me 10 or 12 minutes each time I go there, where Costco would make me go around Highway 19. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, this one, you want to see just that it's barely making it over. It. That's not a lot of energy on the way up. It's not really parabolic. So I'm looking at ones like we've looked before where you really truly had a lot of movement uh, in these. Uh, here's another builder. 
out here that uh, may be ripe for the picking. Uh, this has really been up since the 24th of June, Builder's First Source, BLDR, uh, and has been above that 3x3. Three three. You're now just closing probably today below that line. You want to probably pull back and fill this little gap under here. So maybe you go down to 6350 or something like that. You want to pop back up probably in the 65 range, see no volume, and then a move down. Now on this one, it may just be a three quarter percent interest rate hike drives that one uh, into the ground. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We're going to continue looking through a lot of these stocks that have kind of had uh, at least semi-ballistic moves higher and watch these over the next couple of days because if you do want to be short, as I said uh, a long time ago, uh, as we started to get into a really tough year, um, I said that the uh, most important chart that we were looking at uh, there was that uh, boom and bust one. Do I still have that up? Uh, yeah, I do. Hang on. Uh, let me bring it back up if, you do, if you're if you new to it. I said this was uh, right after Christmas, uh, Christmas. I said this was the most important chart that we had. And uh, this is the, what's the guy's name? Transportation. Jean-Luc Picard. No, it's Jean-Luc somebody. I'll remember it in a minute. Uh, but he had this kind of model for looking at it. Um, 
why we may have had some kind of start of capitulation. I don't think we've had anything that really sets uh, a level of capitulation that I've felt or seen in the past. Um, so I'm still looking for one more push down that either breaks it or says that we do find some kind of low in the market. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, well, back to this. Um, as I said, you, I mean, a lot of times you look at charts long enough and you start to know you're looking for something. And I would like the, the upside to be a little sharper than this in bees or homes. But, of course, this is probably a great dead cat bounce. Uh, those housing numbers are probably going to be horrific on Thursday. So just keep an eye on this. Uh, this one's been going above the uh, three by three since the seventh uh, since the first of uh, July so you got to what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen out here now you're just pulling back a little on light volume and again there's a reason why these things um, um, operate like this but generally in a bear market this is the short squeeze where everybody just got too bearish on something uh, then they get to wildly too bullish on something, and all the volume falls out, and then you redo the entire cycle again. Uh, to, to, okay. I don't have any emails here, so I don't know if I'm not getting them or if someone hasn't emailed me. But uh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. Normally, I get a lot more than this today. Um, anyway, bees are homes. Uh, let's see what else is on the list. Um the old Cracker Barrel. I haven't looked at this one for a while. This one's already closing under. Let's take a look at Costco since we already talked about uh, these. Uh, and we saw kind of a similar appearance in, uh, in BJ's Wholesale Club. Um, you know, you really had one day where you closed below it and it popped right back into it the next day. Uh, but Costco, oh. Costco is kind of looking the same way. Um, so we want to probably look at that and Sam's Club. Of course, that's part of Walmart, so it's a little disguised out here. These wholesale clubs have done nothing but go pretty much straight up since June 17th, and you really didn't get much of a pullback. Uh, we're seeing a couple of them start to setting up that way. It's pretty amazing. CPRX. This is kind of a lot more what I'm talking about. You've gone from six and a half bucks back on the 17th of June uh, up to 10 bucks. So you got uh, a good, pretty much, uh, what is that, an 80% move, 75% move? Um, I guess that's, eh, uh, from six bucks to 10 bucks, and you're hitting that. I'm not a big sh uh, fan of shorting $10 stocks, but uh, watch for that one to set up. Uh, if you're trying to learn to trade these uh, Joe DiNapoli double repo patterns that I've been using for 15, 16, 17 years now. Um, we have one that's a little bit more uh, long in the tooth here, and that's Carter's CRI. Um, you've gone the first day below it today. What you want is another close above it, maybe a couple of days, and then the next close below it. Generally, where you start having the full... Um, retracement. Uh, same kind of thing here in the Carlisle Company. Uh, CSL on this one. You closed above it on the 5th. In fact, most of these are somewhere around the 1st uh, to the 7th and have just gone straight up with the market. But you like to see, if you're really hoping for more long-term moves, you generally don't want everybody getting long at one time. You want a lot of back and forth and indecision and, uh, you know, it does the coin flip 60% to heads and you go higher? Yeah. But when it flips every day or most every day higher, generally those burn out fairly quickly. Uh, wanted to get to this one. Um, which is Decker's Outdoor. Uh, it's not a very good pattern, but uh, I thought it was very interesting for a $300 stock. Uh, let's see, let's go out here. Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, same kind of thing. Uh, kind of long in the tooth, I think, for this one, too. They really got uh, pushed up during the pandemic. This one's been above again. 
pop back above on the th on the fifth of the uh, three by three displaced moving average. Um, you got nothing but net so far. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So some of these are probably going to just start pulling back. Some of these are going to try one more push to the top, a close below, maybe a couple of days below it, a little push above, and then the next one generally where you have the big destruction. Okay, Ron says, uh, uh, let's take a look at uh, Metamucil. Uh, the company uh, formerly known as Fascist Book. Um, not really. You only had a couple of days above it. Um, this is kind of a dead cat bounce. Of course, they've got earnings coming up too. I suspect um, that because of some new laws that I think we've actually talked on in the show, that uh, most of these companies are going to have a really bad hair day on earnings. Between uh, Meta and Google, um, the uh, new restrictions um, are probably going to get some comments, uh, and nobody's going to like them uh, during the conference calls. If they do not give those um, announcements or warnings uh, for the, uh, well, there's really two different bills that passed the EU. They were under the same a banner though, but these are going to be, they're going to cut probably 20% earnings. I'm going to say 20, 25% earnings in, in Europe. So, you know, if these guys even halfway tell the truth, maybe it's baked in already. I don't think so. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot like we knew before, which was when Apple uh, pulled the, the uh, rug from underneath uh, fascist book uh, for their policies of uh, getting data that they shouldn't off of iPhones. Um, it was very tough to find out just how hard that actually hurt uh, Facebook slash Metamucil. But it certainly um, is kind of the same thing. And I think everybody's kind of wildly underestimating uh, just how uh, bad this latest bill is going to hit the bottom line of some of these. Man, we got a bunch of them now. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll be back in a minute. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstat has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. And had a question about uh, Ryan and uh, to, to a recent IPO. So let's see, uh, it was a NASDAQ. Maybe to, to do IPO lockup period date. Okay, and it's old. Normally you have them listed. Uh, let's take a look here. R Y A N. Uh, okay, um, Ryan is a, a recent IPO, uh, but. Uh, its lockup was over on the in the first of January, so I don't see much going on here uh, in this. Uh, let's take a look at its profile real quick. Uh, service provider, especially products and solutions for insurance brokers, agents, and carriers. It offers distribution, underwriting, product development, administration, and risk management services. Founded in 2010 in Chicago. Okay, I don't see a whole lot in here. You got about the same volume on the way up, the way down. Same energy on the way up, on the way down. Uh, sometimes it's just better to play tic-tac-toe. I don't see a lot in this one one way or the other. It just looks like a big trading range. Another one out here was Restoration Hardware. And just a dead cat bounce in this one so far. Don't see much. Um, one of our uh, friends in the den, Mr. Z, for a long time has thought that this was very much like Bed Bath & Below where uh, they were able to make the books look fairly good with uh, coupons and discounts. And eventually it led to the demise of uh, the store. And he thinks the same thing on this one. Um, just depends on how long the uh, bull market where no one's really looking too hard uh, comes, uh, but this one's already fallen fairly easily or uh, uh, greatly. But uh, let's go back and look at a little bit higher. But this one always kind of looked a lot like a, a stock operator was doing something. But it's it was up at 7:44, um, and it's kind of come back. My guess is he's probably right on restoration hardware. Uh, this thing is just uh, going to be very much like the rest. Okay, and let's see. Uh, okay. Um, what else do we have? Okay. Um, oh, we got a couple more emails here. Let's go check those out. Um, anyway, I'm saying. Uh, uh, my sign off, same bat channel, same bat time in the opposite should be same bat time, same bat channel. 
I'm saying it backwards. Okay, Lou. <laughs> the Noog Man says hi. And uh, A Matt uh, for Todd. Okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got seven. You'd really need to have this thing kind of really take off. And I don't see it. There was a, as I said, I'm pretty sure that, you know, you had a huge move down. Um, thinking this would pull back on just a normal pullback to somewhere on the gap at about 94-ish, 95-ish. Again, I'm fairly bearish, so that covers most of my calls out here. Uh, on dust, um, now this is one that when you do get a uh, retracement on it, probably going to be a pretty good indication uh, that gold has bottomed. And, of course, we haven't gotten anything like that yet. Uh, these miners continue to be it. But this has been really on the upswing uh, since the 8th of June. Um, and, you know, it's very tough to think that gold is going to pull back that far. What are we off? 10 bucks still today. Uh, to, to gold, yeah, 1050 is I what I show. Um, and it's just kind of laying around like a dead fish on the dock. I don't know what to say other than uh, when this does turn around, my guess is that dust will probably have a fairly decent retracement to about 20 bucks. So and we'll keep an eye on it, but I don't see anything out here yet today. Let's go back through my list of stuff. Okay, that's not the one I thought it was. Okay, Home Depot. This has been going above the 3x3 since the 1st of uh, July. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so maybe, maybe this gets a little bit uh, of a pullback on um, higher interest rates and then maybe one more push higher and then a failure and then it comes back to 290 that may this all may set up a few days okay and oh where's my list okay okay question look at the TLT so we'll do that right now um yeah, you made the high uh, or tested the high on Friday. One of the reasons why I suspect uh, that we are headed lower. Uh, June 5th, 117.75 with 22 million shares. Got into it with 18 million shares for one day. Gave it up. You're back into the trading range now. And uh, my guess is that you're probably going to trade around uh, between this area and back to 112. Uh, depending on whether or not it's uh, three quarters of a percent or one percent will depend on how fast it probably retests 112.05. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at Jack in the Box. And yeah, that's just a dead cat bounce. JB Hunt, we talked about that one. Um, and what they were saying on earnings. Uh, just really kind of went sideways on this. Um, Again, my guess is we're setting up these moves uh, for a bigger move lower. And we probably are not going to go retest our highs in this scenario. We're just going to be able to uh, pull back a little bit, go back up, uh, maybe halfway, and then fail. And that's where the real big destruction is going to happen. Uh, Jack Henry's, everybody uh, buying their suits, I guess, going back to the office. This has really kind of been back higher since uh, June 30th. You had two days that were right on the line. Uh, neither one of them had volume. You're back into it now. And uh, we'll see about that. Um, t -t -t what else is on my list here that I looked at that I thought was interesting? Well, we're going to the break now. I'll have a chance to look through these. Still have a chance to email me at path at tfnn.com. This 
Mesa Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we're back, as someone said, uh, had a little bit of a downgrade for Metamucil. Um, let's see. I have anything down here? Yeah, down to 3%. Um, I'm not, uh, you know, maybe they post some better numbers or something, but uh, long, at least medium term, I'm thinking that uh, almost all these companies are going to have fairly huge expenses and they're probably going to start talking about it this week about uh the the uh, uh i forgot what they called it now uh but it's actually two bills together in one uh to control uh, big tech of course it can get away with it here because uh you know they pay a lot of money very tough to do the same thing to all the eu nations over there uh microsoft is going to get a little bit of that um uh, probably not as bad as Google and Facebook slash Metamucil, uh, but uh, certainly um, we got a lot of these stocks doing this too, which is uh, lower highs, higher lows in this thing. But uh, between this and Apple, I think uh, at best, I think it'd be a victory if they go sideways. Um, so don't think that there's a lot of upside in any of these. Um, maybe um, 
when we get into the fall and earnings in there, things may have time to turn around a little bit. Maybe some of this stuff gets priced in. But uh, I think we're going once more into the breach, dear friends. A little World War I reference there for you youngsters. Anyway, uh, that's kind of it. Now, when we look at volume for today before we wrap up the show, only uh, although we tried to push higher today, we're only doing right now about 6.3 billion shares. Incredibly light for a Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time or same bat time, same bat channel. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to